This is how the screen looked before the replacement. There's no need to take the unit fully apart. Just unscrew four screws from the back of the display and you have access to the screen. Whatever you do, do not disconnect the ribbon at the bottom of the display. Find something to prop up the display. At this time, it's best to take a still picture of the back of the screen so you can have it as a reference. Do not disconnect that ribbon right there. Snip that black ground wire on the back of the screen.
it's very important that you remember the order and where you had unscrewed the screws from. I noticed that the new screen mounting board was shorter than the original one. So when installing this new screen, it's smaller, right? Shorter than the other one. And I'm only able to line up one screw. And I also had to cut the tabs off. I had to cut the tabs off right here. On the three spots, I had to cut the tabs off. Let me show you. Had to cut the tabs all right there, right here, and right here. Right there, right there, and right there. The three tabs. These other ones you don't have to cut off because it doesn't go that far and the thing doesn't reach that far. So yeah, I don't know. And then um I'm gonna see, you know, it's, it's Kind of, it's holding in place. I mean, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's okay. We're going to see. And also, this piece here, there's no way to put it back on here. Because you don't have that whole slot right there. You can't put no screw there because look where it's off. See that? And I got nowhere to screw this back on, so I'm assuming I don't need this, so we'll see. And I didn't get, he didn't send me any instructions. Not sure why he didn't do that. So I, I requested for instructions. And um, I didn't want to wait, so I just took it upon myself and just used simple common knowledge. Believe this, it may be the inverters that they're talking about. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So, after putting everything back together, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it on and see what happens. <clears throat> All right, um, it's pretty cool. Look a lot better than the other joint I had. I'm 
see that sunburn that's that was the, that's the thing that was hurting my eyes um i do notice that the screen is a little off that ain't gonna matter to me as long as i can see that sunburn and i ain't got no lines i'm good my problem was sunburn and i know some people are getting lines so so far so good man um as you see when i started it up this is what i got so now it's just to put it to use. See, see what happens, you know? But that's it for the install. Um, the instructions, he did send instructions, but you got to zoom in, zoom out on them. I mean, zoom in on them. When he sent you the attachment, um, the design, I mean, it's cool, but I wish I could have got all my screws in there. Overall, I'll rate this probably um, 1 to 10, 10 being the, uh, the best. I'll probably give them a, like a, a 7 for the, 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 fit per, the fit side of it. But, you know, as you can see, it's um, I can see the characters. They seem a little bit more smaller, but it's bright. It's real bright, so that I'm I'm happy. You know, I'm happy that I got something better than what I had. So I'm just gonna rock with it. Um, I would recommend this, but just taking your time putting it together. Like I said, you're gonna have to remove some of the tabs. I moved removed all of them. I don't know why. I just did, but I shouldn't. You only have to remove them three. Um, and you'd be good. You know. And you won't need this. I guess this for the inverter. You won't be needing that. And other than that, man, I want to thank y'all for watching, man. Peace.